Who are y'all? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey. Okay, today I wanted to talk about we hear all sorts of information, don't we? We just live in the age of information overload. So we hear stuff from our parents, our teachers, our friends, even when we watch TV or iPads. Do any of you have an iPad? A few of you, yeah. So it's sometimes hard to know what's right, isn't it? Like, is it teaching me the right thing? Should I be listening to this? It's not just always so easy to tell. So today in our scripture, it actually teaches us that the Bible is God-inspired, which means God helped all the people write these things in the Bible so they're true and they're right. So if we do want to know what's right, the best thing we can do is read our Bibles. And the Bible can be used to teach us and to help us learn what to believe. So the more we read, the more ready we are to go out and to do good works. Okay? Okay, okay you going to pray for me? <laughs> Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for our daily bread. Thank you, thank you for letting us learn how to read the Bible. Amen. Good morning. Would any of uh, our young friends like to join me down here for the children's moment? You don't said that. I don't bite. It's okay. I might. Who knows? Yeah, probably. Okay. What if, what if y'all went to school tomorrow and your teacher came in and said, okay, uh, today we're going to learn some math and I'm going to teach you that two plus two equals giraffe. Would you believe her? No, because we all know that two plus two equals five, four, right, sorry. Um, so... What, what, if, what if you went into uh, to, to your PE class and your, uh, your gym teacher says, all right, guys, today we're going to do jumping jacks, and he dropped down and started doing push-ups. And he says, this is how you do a jumping jack, and he's doing a push-up. Well, would, would, you, would you believe him, or would you think they maybe lost their marbles? Yeah, that's, that's, we all know that's not how you, well, I don't know, because I've never done a jumping jack in my whole life, nor can I do a push-up, but you fit young folks clearly would be just fine. So I'm going to read you some scripture today. Second Timothy says that all scripture is God-breathed and useful for teaching, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servants of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So, which you, so you can use that scripture to know that what you read in the Bible is true. The Bible is going to tell you things that are true, like two plus two is four, not that two plus two equals giraffe. So. It, as you go out this week, remember, every time you read Scripture, you know that you can use that Scripture. That's God telling us what is good and what is right and what is true. Would anybody like to pray for us? That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. That's okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for the blessing that you've given us of your word, of your words and your heart and your thoughts sent to us in the Bible. I pray that you will help us all to remember that regardless of what we may hear coming into us from the, the wide world, that we, can, that we will trust and cling to the scriptures as your truth for us. In your name we pray. Amen. Good morning. How are y'all? Let me ask you, who likes school? Me. You? You like school? Are y'all glad to be back in after ice storm? Yes. I thought I would hear more parents say yes. Well... So at school, what do we do? We, we learn, right? Learn. We learn. We learn math, language, social studies, science. Well, those things teach us, right? So that we can go out and use those things in our everyday life. But what today we're going to learn about is the Bible and how the Bible is the true word of God. Now, how do we know that? Well, so... Because there was many different writers of the Bible, right? Many different authors. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, but what it was is it was inspired through God to put those words into writing and into the Bible. Well, the Bible gives us teachings, right? Yeah. To use throughout each and every day. It gives us an instruction to how to live our lives. We learned us how to read. Yes, learned how to read. Um, but it contains the histories and, and it gives us directions as in like 
uh, honor your mother and father, right? Well, when we read the Bible, it's a lot different than what we live in to today, right? Because that was thousands of years ago. Well, you know, it might be, for instance, listening to your mother and father might mean like, don't cross the street without looking both ways, right? But in the Bible, it might say, oh, don't go out by yourself. You might be eaten by a lion. So, but it teaches us the same thing. Well, so let's use the Bible. Let's get into the Bible to read the message of God, to give us instructions to live each day and to honor him. Would anybody like to pray? Bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this day. Thank you for these children, Lord. Let us uh, get into the Bible. Let it inspire us and shine a light for you each and every day. And we just give you all the glory and honor. In your holy and precious name we pray. Amen.